What's happening, Jam Rock Nation? Guess where we are? I am going in to get the ingredients to make those salads. You know those salads that I've been posting? Oh, I'm sweating. It's 80, 83 degrees right now. Anyway, you know those salads I've been posting on my story? And I've been promising that I'm going to make video for it and how you can make a salad. And after you get your prep work ready, in five minutes, you can have the most unbelievable salad. So I'm literally going to take you step by step on how to do it. And we're going to start with getting all the ingredients. So let's go in. Without further ado, as the kids say, this is going to be epic. <laughs> can't go anywhere without my mask. Watch. Look at this beautiful mask. Nat got me. I got every color. Okay. This is the world in 2021. Let's go into all of you guys. Okay. Here's all the produce. And we have to start with our mixed greens. So I get the Simply Organic Spring Mix with all, all different kinds of good stuff in it and um, then we're gonna just start picking stuff like celery carrots and different things okay so I didn't feel like going through the whole Aldi store and showing you everything because that was gonna take too much time from the video so what I'm gonna do is show you the box of pure salad fixings so are you guys ready to get your your salad groove on and hone in on your salad making skills. So I'm gonna flip the camera here and then show you what we have. Take notes. <laughs> we will film on how you do this so you can have your five minute salad. ingredients to being successful at this and to do it on a regular basis is to be organized. So these storage containers that I've had for a little while now, um, I keep the box because I don't always have all of them in use and it kind of makes it easy to keep them. But this is basically what they look like. And once you have all of your ingredients cut up, filled, it makes it so easy. And you'll end up using your ingredients for other things. Like this tall one here, we're gonna put our greens in there. Um, I also have this little scooper that I had from something before and uh, the machine broke, so I kept the scooper. Anyway, these, of course, I'll put the link in the description for this too, but this is really gonna make it helpful, easy, convenient, and while our eggs are cooking, we're gonna get the rest of our supplies together for your salad. By now you should have already had them bought as to what you, you know, want for your salad. While you're gathering up your ingredients, you want to decide if you want hard boiled eggs in your salad. I personally do like to have one egg each day when I have my salad. So I have this cool little handy gadget, which of course you know I have. Um, and it can make six eggs hard boiled, it can make poached eggs, you can make a little omelet. I always use it for hard boiling. And what you do is you put the spindle in here. Of course, I'll put the link in the description. This little spindle goes in. Like this. Then you fill this little thing with water, which I already measured it. And this is the amount that fills this up. On the bottom of this, you take this bottom off and there's a pin. So what you want to do is you take your egg and you find the, the fat part and you gently push and make a little pinhole at the bottom of each of the eggs. If you're going to do this, you start your eggs first and that way by the time they're finished and you're doing everything else will be ready, your eggs will be ready at the same time. back on because that's very sharp 
And I'm gonna plug this in over here where my outlet is. on. We're not going to be using these right now because we're not making omelets. And it will automatically, it'll beep when it's finished. It'll cook them to perfection. So while those are doing their thing, we'll get the rest of our ingredients together. All right, by the magic of camera, I already mixed there's the beef, so the eggs are finished already. I think it takes like six minutes or something. Um, but it's okay to be sitting in there for a little bit. Anyway, I mixed the granola, all of the fruits, the dried fruits, and all the various nuts. I put them all in a bowl, mix them together, and put those in there. Here we're gonna do our tomatoes. I have the little miniature red ones, and then I have the gourmet ones in here and when you're making an omelet you already have if you want to add tomatoes if you want to have some of the other veggies it's so easy to reach for everything now if you're making um, if you're making veggie lasagna we're gonna have veggies that are all cut up and in a container this is the French onions I'm just adding more just to kind of show you procedure but since these are the fresher ones we put those in i had already done this video you know and this is how much i love you guys jam rock nation i did the whole thing and it was dark i cut my entire head off through almost the entire video so that's why some of these were already they already are filled up a little bit containers you do have to leave a little space at the bottom or inside you have to leave a little space so that these can close but these fresh seal like this and they have the rubber gasket my greens I've never been able which is here I've never been able to go through the whole container without the bottom ones getting kind of mushy and just not good and with these containers I get every last little bit and uh, don't miss anything so we're gonna do the greens. You know, I just use my hands because I washed my hands before. We're gonna fill this, fill this up, and then we'll move to the next step. The whole container fit into here. You have to push down a little bit. But now we've got our greens, we've got our nuts and berries, we've got our tomatoes and our little French onions. Now we're gonna do the eggs. So once this is finished. I usually let it sit in there a little bit longer anyway because I like my hard boiled eggs really hard boiled. I have some ice, I need some water, we'll add a little bit more water. We're going to dip the eggs into a little ice bath which will make them peel easier. Also what you want to do is use eggs that you didn't just buy. Like if you've had eggs sitting in the fridge for a week or something and then you went and bought new ones, use the old ones. this little guy and we'll let those cool off and then we'll peel our hard boiled eggs. So this is also the croutons. I had two different kinds which I had showed you previously I believe and I mixed them together and I poured them in there. So we've got the croutons ready too. There's a couple other things I wanted to tell you about. <clears throat> One of the things was your mix here with the nuts and berries and everything makes an excellent trail mix. So when you're hungry, you want a snack, you have that. And instead of reaching for chips or, you know, Doritos or something, um, you know, you could do that sometimes, but it's really nice to be eating something healthy and still have that munch. Okay, this little gadget, uh, I got this at Aldi, but I did see a nicer one than this. Uh, still very reasonably priced on Amazon. I'll put the link to that. different attachments. This is the little pusher, but look how nice. It takes seconds and you have all of these cut up. Somebody, you know, some of you are not going to have any something like this or you don't want to get it from the, the link. So I'm going to cut some of the stuff up by hand too. Okay, 
just use the pusher. And I'm going to continue, but you can see how nice this is. And they're very thin, better than, easier than trying to do it by hand. So I'm going to chop these up. I'm going to cut up some of the celery. So this is what I'm using. Celery, carrots, peppers. Now when I come home from the grocery store, I literally just start putting my veggies in the containers to begin with. And the salad ones, of course, I'll chop up. One of the other things that I said I wanted to say more than one thing is that this initial time is going to take you the longest because you're starting from scratch. But once you've done all of these things one time, now you're just going to do it when you need more. So like these nuts will last a long time. The greens will last a long time. I might have to replace the, the croutons or the tomato. That takes what, a couple seconds? You know, if I have to do this because maybe I was making uh, lasagna and I ended up just reaching for this container with all these wonderful veggies in there, uh, then I could just replace that stuff. You know, these ones probably take the longest cutting up all of these veggies, but they last a long time because we're gonna be putting those in a container, a tall container too. Here it is. And um, I'm gonna get all this ready. I got sweet peppers. You can put hot peppers in if you want. Everything that you'd like to have in your salad. But let's just get all this, look at these beautiful colors. Get everything together and this is gonna be awesome. I'm so happy to share this with you because this journey that I'm on, it's really working and I feel way better. You know, I've been dealing with some health issues that I don't really talk about. And um, I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy about this and a few of the other things that I'm doing, which I'll also share. And if you're interested, please, leave me comments in the description, I mean in the comment section, and let me know that these are the kind of videos that you like, because I know with our family you're used to a lot of other kind of content, and you know, we're doing a lot of motivational stuff and pranks and all of that, but I really want to, I'm the mama. I'm the mama. So I really want to make sure everybody's healthy. You know, I want to keep us all healthy and have us all around for a long time. So please share this video also and the other videos. I have people writing me every day telling me, I'm not feeling well, Mama Rhonda, I want to do something. I'm like, go watch the video, do the steam, do this, do that, you know, take a ginger shot. And then they'll write back and tell me how great they feel or that they helped their mom or their grandma or somebody. So I'm going to get this together. I know my last video ended up as an hour long, so I'm redoing it and I'm trying to get to the point. But you know, I, li you know I like to chat. I also forgot cucumbers. Look at these crazy little cucumbers I got at the Presidente Supermarket. They were, you know, homegrown, I guess, so they look like that. But I would recommend if you're gonna do cucumbers is to put them in their own container instead of this. Oh, I got all these in here too, before I, you know, turn the camera back on. And um, these get soggy, so I would do these separately and then put them in their own container. And then that should be about it until we get to the, the dressing. So let me get these in the container and uh, we're doing great, right? As you see, we've got all our ingredients. Now for the vi raspberry vinaigrette. What you're gonna do is, here I have some finished because like I told you, I already did the video once. Um, you're gonna do equal parts of apple cider vinegar. When you get apple cider vinegar, you see this on the bottom? Make sure you get, Bragg's is the best well-known brand, but make sure it says with the mother. That's the, has, it's the most potent, it's the best for you, and you'll see sediment on the bottom. And you shake that up, that sediment is called the mother. Now this is olive oil, you can also use coconut oil. The only problem with coconut oil is, is I like it in it and it tastes awesome, but you know, it gets hard if it's above a certain temperature. And this is sitting out and it still kind of gets hard. So I use the olive oil most of the time. Sometimes I'll do the, the coconut oil, especially if I'm going to use it right away. And then the apple cider vinegar. So I'm just going to do a little bit because like I said, I already have this filled up. But this is it filled. Put it in a container that you can shake because the oil will separate. And before you use it, just give it a little shake, just like you would any other dressing. This is the fruit spread. Now what this is, is a raspberry fruit spread made with 75% fruit. So get something as close to that as you can. 
as natural as you can. So we're gonna do a quarter cup. Maybe I'll just do an eighth of a cup because I don't want to put it in another container. But I just want to show you. And then the same thing with the olive oil. Nice little dollop of the um, fruit. Let's see if it'll just come out. I don't think you really have to measure it, but if you want to, oh, that's a big dollop. Probably will have to add some more of the oil and the vinegar. But anyway, let me just show you for the purpose of camera and make sure you know what you're doing. So you're just going to whisk this up, stir it up really, really good, mix it all together until it starts to look like a salad dressing. And it's as simple as that. Even though I put that much raspberry in there, it's still mixed up pretty fine. I'll probably just add a little tiny bit more. And I'll probably, maybe I'll use this one for my salad that I'm gonna make. But there you have it. So we've got our dressing. And then we've got our um, ingredients. So I want you to time me. Now, it would take me a few extra seconds if all of this was in the fridge, I mean seconds, to get it out, right? But let me get my bowl, and you're going to time me and see how quick you can have your salad. Okay, ready? This says 426, but I don't know if it just turned or what, but whatever, we're getting started. Get your greens, take yourself a nice handful of greens because that's your main thing right there. So a little bit extra. If you have a family and you want to make a lot of this stuff, get everybody to help. You know, get them involved and that way everybody's eating healthy. Then you get your mix. That's when I like to use my little scooper. But you can use a measuring cup even if you don't have a little scooper. Get your Get a little bit of everything. I'll just leave that in there then. Should be able to close. Okay. Then a little bit of nuts and berries. I'll just do a little, little sprinkling on the top. Oh. Uh-huh. These are almost fun too. Mm -hmm. I wonder who the culprit is. Somebody's been getting into my berries. Oh my god, that's, that's ridiculous. Look at this. It's like 10 little berries on the top. Oh, look how nice this is looking already. Tomatoes. Just put a few in there. It's only one minute so far. Crouton. I'm not doing much bread, so I'm just going to do a couple little croutons. It's time for you to eat, I know. Okay. Tiny bit of French onions. He knows he's not even allowed in the kitchen. He's trying to be slick because I'm filming. Mm -hmm. There's my cucumbers that I had cut up. Okay, and then my egg. You can either just put it on the side or you can cut it up. And then, look at that. Get your dressing, All right? Remember, shake it up first. And you can add other dressing with this, like I have that poppy seed dressing that I really love from Aldi. There it goes, look at this. And I like to add that with it. Make sure I get it down on the side so some goes to the bottom and I can scoop it up when I get to the bottom of my bowl. Okay. And now, actually, let me grab the poppy seed dressing real fast. This is 
the one I like. It's organic, uh, simply nature poppy seed. I don't know if where you're watching me from if they have Aldi, but I put a little bit of this on. But the raspberry vinaigrette is so awesome because it gives you that tangy, sweet, sour, tart, like everything all mixed together. Anyway, look at that. Six, seven, eight, nine, three minutes. So I literally could all have that put back in the fridge, but I don't want to keep walking back and forth. Let me come closer and show you. Let me look at the camera if you saw it, can see it good. Oh yeah. Tell me that isn't awesome. Anyway, that concludes the video. Hmm, no, does not. I'm gonna go up with my salad. I'm gonna go sit down on the couch and eat my salad and do a shout out. I love you, Jam Rock Nation. Be right back. Okay, Jam Rock Nation. I decided to come outside and get a little bit of fresh air. My salad couldn't wait for me. And uh, I wanna do the shout out. But I want to ask you guys for a favor first. I have an idea that I want to do at the end of some of my videos, and I need your participation because, you know, Jamrock Nation is from all over the world. One love, one nation. So what I would like is if you can send me a picture of yourself. You can be by yourself, with your friends, with your family, um, doing something you love or in an environment that's beautiful from where you come from. Of course, don't show anything that's personal, like your address or anything. But if you want to show you in front of your house, like far back or something, anything like that. You know, if you play, play guitar, maybe you're playing guitar or eating an ice cream cone because that's your favorite. Whatever it is, send me a picture on my IG, which is right here. Um, also, make sure you follow me on there. And um, with the picture, tell me your first name and... Uh, where you're from so what country you're from and I, I have something real fun you know I want you guys involved in these videos not just watching so I have something I would really like to do and I have a few already just from people that write to me um, and I've, I've asked to do that but I want this to be a continuous thing so if you can please do that all right right to the point here my shout out goes to Tasha Aline, I hope I'm saying this correctly. Mama Rhonda, your content just keeps getting better and better. Looking forward to you hitting 100K. Mm, wouldn't that be great? Keep up the great work. Hashtag Jam Rock Nation. I wrote back and I said, thank you for saying that because I've been feeling discouraged lately, which, you know, I have. I'm here by myself trying to do these videos and you know, I don't really know a lot about what I'm doing yet. And so sometimes I get a little discouraged, especially when I put in hours and hours and then they don't turn out good and I got to start it all over. But regardless, it was so nice of that, of um, Tasha to write that to me. And then she responded and said, I know things can be a bit stressful, but you have been such a blessing to thousands of people all over the world. Let that fact be your strength to keep propelling you towards your goals. Hashtag Jam Rock Nation. <sighs> Thank you so much because this really does inspire me and does propel me. And I really love and appreciate you guys. And everybody that writes me and tells me how much I've been helping them. It's awesome. You know, I really appreciate it. And it really makes me realize just how close we really are. So, thank you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry for getting a little emotional, but, you know, that's, that's me. <sighs> Please subscribe, share the video and the other videos. You know, like, send your comments, and watch the ads. <laughs> and let's be healthy and happy together. I love you, Jam Rock Nation. Until next time. Mwah. Are you ready for the big reveal? Oh, yeah. On three. Uno, dos, tres. Whoa. Dang. That's crazy.
this is a refrigerator, guys. Wow. <laughs> decided we're doing we are going to do the raspberry vinaigrette because that's an important part so if the video is a little bit long so what let's sit and relax and watch it right how cute oh no oh it didn't go all the way down come on go down there it goes so we probably can fit it but anyway when you're doing it Oh, I got jam on me. When you're doing it, you may uh, run out of one thing faster than something else. So you'll know next time how to pace, you know, how much you need of each thing. But sometimes you can only have to replace one or two of your items and then it doesn't take as long. And you just keep it, keep it going, you know. Nice little handful of your nuts. Because you're on video, you don't want to. You don't want to listen. Do what you're supposed to do. That's okay. We'll do it your way, no problem. There it is. Look how pretty! Can you see it? And voila! Go Levi. Go Levi. Jammy's filming. Go Levi. Go on. <laughs> anyway, excuse the technical difficulties.